By this time next year, HBO Max and Discovery Plus will be one. The combined platform shall hit the US market in the summer of 2023. This was first revealed in March this year by Discovery former Chief Financial Officer, Gunnar Wiedenfels, at the Deutsche Bank 30th Annual Media, Internet and Telecom Conference, and was later reiterated on the Warner Bros. Discovery second quarter earnings call. Then in the fall of the same year, 2023 shall be the turn of the Latin American market, followed by the Europe in early 2024, Asia-Pacific in mid-2024, and additional markets in the fall of 2024. With an increasingly congested streaming industry, why would this two competitors, Discovery and HBO Max, now decide to merge? How strategic is this move? And more importantly, what's in it for their subscribers? In this episode of Business and Technology, I shall help you make sense of this Discovery Plus and HBO Max controversial merge you need to be aware of as a current or potential customer. This is BTTV. The company formerly known as WarnerMedia, spun off from AT&T started HBO Max in May 2020 and featured HBO television shows, in addition to programming from cable networks like TNT, TBS, CNN and the Warner Bros. Film Studio. In April 2022, WarnerMedia merged with Discovery Inc., home to streamer Discovery Plus and networks like Discovery Channel, HGTV and Food Network to form the new company now known as Warner Bros. Discovery. Most recently, another merger occurred involving WarnerMedia's two flagship streaming services. It would seem the planned merger involving this two WarnerMedia flagship streaming services is a way to try not to fall in the nightmare Netflix is currently undergoing, which is, having less captivating or cancelled TV shows and losing customers, as Discovery's global streaming chief reveals that this merger intends to cut subscriber losses and increase the quantity of content available to every household, while bringing together the best elements of both services. Not ignoring the cost savings that will result from this. For Discovery Plus, this combination will permit the platform penetrate markets it had previously being reluctant to roll out in. Two things are essentially of great concern to the customers of both platforms, first would be the price. The combined service will be segmented in four tiers. But how much each will cost is still unknown. There will be four tiers. Not only will the HBO Max and Discovery Plus service have a premium ad-free entry level, but it will also have an ad-supported plan which Warner Bros. Discovery's second quarter earnings presentation referred to as Ad Light. There will also be a free third tier, which was referred to with an acronym many have never heard of before, FAST, which stands for Free Ad Supported Streaming Television. That tier, which is seemingly coming later, is meant to get people in the door and interested in the product. Peacock does this with its free tier. And another tier for sports. Price is going to be the biggest obstacle for most involved. Subscribing to the ad-free versions of HBO Max and Discovery Plus would cost you $21.98 per month when purchased separately. Getting both of the ad-supported versions totals $14.98 per month. Things get complicated, because with Discovery Plus whose prices range from $4.99 to $6.99 per month members spend much less than HBO Max members do whose prices go from $9.99 to $14.99 monthly. For this exact reason, it was noted near the end of the Warner Bros. Discovery second quarter earnings call that they plan to let Discovery Plus members stay remain in their original pricing for a likely short window of time at first. From the look of things, taking the ad-free plan above the $19.99 price point could be disastrous for the combined platform because that's the new highest price for Netflix. I also think when it comes to the ad-supported plan, $12.99 per month should be the limit. 
That said, Warner Bros. Discovery should keep the combined package as close to $14.99 per month as possible. On their own call, they explained that they estimate only 4 million people subscribe to both services. This all suggests that HBO Max customers, your higher paying customers, don't have a whole lot of interest in paying more for Discovery Plus. Also, figures from the first quarter earnings call suggest the balance leans heavily in HBO Max's favor. Back then, there were reportedly 76.8 million total HBO and HBO Max subscribers worldwide, and 24 million or so Discovery Plus subscribers. This paints a picture where HBO Max hits the upper limits for what customers are willing to pay for a service. At the same time, this suggests HBO Max is the stronger service, since it can get more subscribers to pay more cash. And second would be availability of many interesting original contents and the non-cancellation of TV shows. The biggest concern customers probably have is being forced to pay more for content they don't care about. Some people exist in the Venn diagram that shows interest in HBO Max and Discovery Plus, but that's just a small fraction of the folks. Those paying closer attention will be wondering how shows and movies could suffer. Things aren't starting off well for creatives. The Batgirl and Scoob sequels were canned, and Six Max original films have disappeared as well. Plus, new movies are no longer guaranteed to come out on HBO Max 45 days after their theatrical release. On the same Warner Bros. Discovery second quarter earnings call, Gunnar Wiedenfels basically declared it has intent to cut down on kids and animation content without an adequate investment case against them. In other words, animated content that won't be huge will not be developed. All along the way, Warner Bros. has been swinging the cancellation axe on a lot of scripted programming, including TNT's Snowpiercer, TBS, The Last OG and HBO Max's Made for Love. So, with scripted content on the outs at TNT, TBS and True TV, eyes turn to how HBO Max content will survive. Guess we wait and see how things play out come summer of 2023. Now, tell me, what do you make of this announced merger? Are you excited about it? Let's have a discussion on this in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please do, and turn on notifications to not miss out on any future uploads. This is BTTV.